Ho, 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 you nerds. It's that time of the year again where the white powder comes falling down. Or maybe where you're from, it's still a festive season, but it's 95 degrees out. Regardless, the holidays are here, and that means no exceptions, even in the world of VR game development. Welcome in, everyone. I'm ZStorm, and today I just want to talk to you a little bit about the upcoming winter event in Zenith The Last City. Now, this is going to be the very first holiday event in Zenith ever. And with this winter event comes the 1.2.1 minor patch, which includes a slew of other things to do and some changes to the game. The holiday event will run for three weeks from the launch day of December 22nd. So that gives you until January 12th to finish up everything in the event. Oh, and quickly before we start, if you don't already own Zenith, which I'm sure if you're here watching this, you do, or if you want to gift it to someone else this holiday season, Zenith is 40% off right now on the Quest Store. And it will be until December 26th. Just figured it'd be good to let you know. All right, now let's dig into the first thing for this event, the map changes. What would a winter themed event be without snow? The Nexus District has been dressed up with some snow piles laying around, some special snowflake particle effects, as well as some Christmas presents scattered throughout the city. Now, apart from the Nexus District, these wintry effects are scattered throughout the whole world of Zenith, so no matter where you visit, you'll get that fun, frosty feeling of winter without that hand numbing cold. Also, make sure to be on the lookout for the new chilling winter banshees that will be scattered across the land as they drop rewards and and ingredients that can be put towards the winter event. Next up is something I wasn't expecting from an event like this, but I am pleasantly surprised. The introduction of some new wild creatures and pets. They added in a royal scarab bug, an adorable striped tail cub, an even more adorable dazzling striped tail cub, and a special frosted striped tail cub that is a winter festival exclusive that you can only get during this three weeks of the event. You can get the frosted striped tail cub as a rare drop from the winter festival world event or by turning in 500 chocolate coins. And so you don't get worried, the Royal Scarab and the non-winter variations of the Striped Tail Cub will be here to stay past the winter update. Now, when you run into winter banshees and banish enough of them out of existence, or participate in the Fractured Plains world event, you may get some chocolate coin drops. These chocolate coins can be used by going to the event NPC Winty, who is located by the entrance into the Nexus District. Winty has several different quests for you, all requiring chocolate coins to complete them. This includes three new limited time recipes, the Winter Noodles, the winter cookies, and the winter nog. Now, maybe cooking isn't your thing. No worries, because you still have the most exciting part, winter cosmetics. By turning in 400 chocolate coins, you can get the red felt cap. And if you turn in another 400, you can get the Pandowl hat. Yet another fun thing added in for players is some toys. By toys, I mean you can get this adorable snow friend as a drop for mobs and the world event. You can run around with this, place it wherever you want, and even turn your friends into T-posing snowmen. But not just that, you can also cash in three of your winter coins to Winty to receive 50 snowballs that can be used to throw at your friends and roll across the ground with physics. And lastly, if you get lucky enough, you might even get a Christmas present drop from the Winter Banshees or the World Event. This can be used to throw at your friends and give them some sort of random winter reward as well as it's needed to progress on the special Winter Agent rank. Ah, so what's the Winter Agent rank you ask? Well, if you missed out on the last major update, 1.2, Zenith introduced this cool, almost battle pass themed system called an Agent rank. It's a completely free leveling system, giving you special activities to complete as well as daily tasks. This winter Winter update adds in a whole special section dedicated to everything specifically happening in the winter festival. So you may have to throw 10 snowballs at a friend or be hit by 20 different present boxes. You can then claim a reward for finishing these tasks, giving you gold coins, zen, and experience towards leveling up your winter agent rank. And at each new level of your winter agent rank, you can claim some sort of fun reward. Just another little thing added on top of everything this update already has. All right, now we're getting to the thing you have all been waiting for. You cannot have a special holiday event like this in an MMO without having a winter world event. So if you head on over to the southeast corner of the Fractured Plains, you'll find a large amount of snow in one area. This is the area that spawns an event every 15 minutes in which you must kill winter banshees and throw the snowflakes that they drop into the snowy panda that spawns in the middle. Once you fill the event bar with enough snowflakes, the event will end and chain into the second and final event. The fight against Faminus the Hunger. Faminus the Hunger is a special variation of the Infernal Core raid boss, Volcane. Faminus has its own custom winter-themed movesets as well as some pretty cool voice lines. It's a pretty tanky boss, so it's gonna require a bunch of players teaming up together to take it out before Faminus frosts you over. So what do you think about the first ever holiday event for Zenith? Is this something unique enough that you'd like to see some dedicated content on it? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, also, I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more Zenith content here on this channel, particularly Zenith challenge videos, so if you have any ideas or suggestions for different challenges you'd like to see, 
let me know in the comments down below as well. That's about it for today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday time, and as always remember, never give up. Peace on out.